Thursday. It is going to be sunny later, I think. There's no stuff with building up there as well, that's interesting. I am standing in our little courtyard outside our room, which I bet is lovely in the summer if you come here. There's a little water feature there, an olive tray, and we've got backwards. Lovely planter here, like railway sleeper type things, and um, greenery, and then furniture just here. Really nice. Just quite enjoying getting some fresh air back, actually, because it's warm in there. Have we turned the radio off before we went to sleep because it was very warm, but um, yes, it actually feels well. It's much warmer today as well. It's um, eight degrees according to my. Oh, that's what I'm looking for. So, had a lovely relaxing afternoon and evening yesterday. Really nice meal, I think I showed you it. And we are off out to do a little bit of exploring today. I think we're going to pop to Wade Bridge, have a wander around that sort of market town. And might go to Rock. Um, I don't think there's a lot in Rock, apart from a nice view back over to Pasto. Um, I believe you can get a boat over there from here, but we're going out to the Wade Bridge in the car anyway, so we'll probably drive. And then a friend has recommended a really pretty little church to go and visit near Rock, so I think we're going to do that. So that's up here. First of all, we're going to go get some breakfast, obviously. If Mr. Matthews ever gets ready, waiting for him, I am. I was ready first this morning. Scrambled egg and smoked salmon for me. And Ashley has a kipper. That looks horrible. There's another pretty little courtyard here. What are you laughing at? If I shut this door, we'll be stuck, we'll be we'll stuck, stuck out here forever. Well, Isn't this pretty? Probably. This is clever, isn't it? This um, plant holder thingy. There was another terrace right at the top. We found it. Look at that view. That's cracking, isn't it? All the way up there. What? Fabulous. Oh, you're in the way of my panning round. That, that side's not so nice. <laughs> Very gothic looking building there, isn't it? The big building I could see from that terrace that I was on just now is at the Harbour Hotel, which is just up there behind the seafood restaurant. This is the seafood restaurant where we're staying and let's go and have a quick look at the harbour it's not quite so nice today a little bit overcast but not cold cold little fishing boats down here right we are off exploring we are off to Wade Bridge as our first stop I think We've arrived in Wadebridge, which smells very farmyardy for some reason. Sorry? Smells very farmyardy, yeah, doesn't it? Not me. No, I know <laughs> that's not you. I think it's the countryside. It's very, very quiet in Wadebridge. There's a massive sale here, it says. I know it's a massive sale because it says so. Hot water bottle cover looks nice, doesn't it? Yes. Sort of weather. Not, the... not so sure about the fleece hat, though. We're just looking in the gallery. Ashley's rather taken by the fish pictures. I'm not convinced, to be honest, but um, oh, yeah. they're a bit black. <laughs> yes, they are a bit black. Yeah. They're very striking, though.
I'm pretty sure that this bakery, last time we came, was a shop that sold really nice mugs and gifts and bits and pieces. I think it has changed since we were last here. Rather like this little Winifred and Mabel, it's called. And they've got a very appealing window display. It's just like a little gift shop, but lots of nice things. I rather like the cat mug there. And the little toadstool houses. Look at those, fabulous. That's a bit sad. Look, the little gin shack closed forever. Sorry. That's sad, isn't it? Cease trading with immediate effect. This is a shop called Wow. That's its sign there. Just these velvet cushions with the beaded insects on them just really caught my eye. Aren't they fabulous? They're in the sale. They're £49.99 each. It's about 11 o'clock in the morning. Sorry? I was just saying up to my video. Yeah. It's about 11 o'clock in the morning. And this is how empty the centre of Wadebridge is. It's unbelievably quiet. I can only assume it's absolutely bustling come the summer months. Bridge over the River Camel. You can pause if you want to read all that. I'd say it's low tide. Is it a tidal river? I would say so. And obviously it's a humpback bridge. Why? Got it over the river camel. Oh, hilarious. Oh my god, you're so funny today. And we're driving across the bridge now. Yeah, the There's another driving bridge the there. Excellent. Just turn the sound off for a sec. Well, Wade Bridge was very quiet. The charity shots were very expensive. <laughs> um, quite odd, really. Packed with stuff, and a couple of them had no donation or accepting donations on the door. But we're not accepting donations because we're too uh, too full, basically. But trying to charge empty of customers, more staff than customers in them, and just charging crazy, crazy prices for things. In your opinion. Well, yeah. but it, bearing in mind that they've got a whole load, all their stock comes for free. They would be merited And they cut, they're too time. full to yes. get any new stock, that you need to turn over your stock to keep people coming in, don't you? I'd have thought. Um, but pricing it so high that people aren't buying it and not having any more stock to I don't know, it seems madness to me when you're not I mean, I understand if you're paying for your stock, but basically it's all free, isn't it? But anyway, it was, we had a nice little wander around Wade Bridge and we are now off to Rock. It's very smelly, but I think it was because the river was so low. I think perhaps the um, river being low makes it a bit smelly. It's not very farmyardy, but I think it was indeed the river. Heavens. Was it? Yes, that's fine. Um, anyway, yes, we're off to Rock next to see what's there. I don't think there'll be an awful lot there, but uh, from what I gather, but um, I hope yes. it's a big stone. Absolutely. This is a very, very skinny bridge over a very, very little stream. We made it. Yeah. There's too many tractors in Cornwall for Ashley's liking. Uh -huh. <laughs> We've just been behind one going up a hill very, very slow. I think that they've gone. It did pull in for us, so all due, yes, you know, yeah. Yeah, thanks to that one, yeah. we got another mile and there's another one. <laughs> Uh, I think they, they it's for the, so you get the full Cornish experience, isn't it? They just drive around showing you That's, what it's like. They to are <laughs> employed by the tourist board to actually block up the roads <laughs> and uh, give you that experience. Yes. Yeah. We've made it to Rock. That's the sea. And that over there is Padstow, I think. Yes, it is. Yes. Right, should we go in there? Yeah, it looks nice, doesn't it? Have a coffee. Well, it's got some lovely views here, but I can imagine that parking must be a nightmare in the summer. Absolute nightmare. But some lovely properties as well with some amazing views. Look at that one. Flat roof like mine. How cute is this little cottage? Bay Cottage. That's lovely, isn't it? We're going to go and have a cup of coffee in here, I think. Anyone fancy a day on the beach? It's a little bit, not very sandy, is it? In fact, the bit in the middle of the estuary looks more sandy. Sorry? See how fast that corner goes. Look at that, amazing. 
Is it actually good? Is it just going with the tide, though? Well, it must it? be going with the tide. Yeah. yeah, that, I mean, yeah. And there's Padstow. Straight across there. We went on a little adventure to try and find a church by the sea. That is a little church called Corthilly, was it? And we singularly failed to find it. <laughs> so, that was good. Um, yeah, drove up and down the road and couldn't find it at all. Despite the fact I had directions on an internet link that somebody had told me you had to park in a field called Marshall's Field and I couldn't find it. Oh, possibly, I guess, yeah, maybe. Um, anyway, we're on our way back to Padstow. The weather has brightened up. We've got some beautiful blue sky now. Um, so we're going to go and have a mooch around Padstow, I think. Look, that could be midsummer, couldn't it? Apart from Ashley's got his coat on. <laughs> it's quite chilly. Uh, <laughs> I don't Beautiful. Know. Look, we can see over to Rock now, where we've been this morning. Right, I am going to show you. You know the jumper I had on last night? And I've got a rusty coloured one that matches it. A couple of people have asked me where I got it from. And it's from a little boutique here. And I will show you. <laughs> this is it. It's Lola Blue is the little shop. And once again, they've got a half price sale on. So I'm going to go and have a look at what they've got. We are in Wickstein's shop. And he has lovely homeware. I think his wife designs a lot of the homeware stuff. Beautiful bits and pieces. I seem to remember filming the name of that shop last year because I thought it was the best name ever for a shop. Jacob and his fiery angel. It is many, many hours later. It's about six o'clock I think, half past six maybe, and we have had a lovely afternoon. We wandered around the town, we did a little bit of shopping, which I will probably show you when we get home or in another video, what I bought, not loads. Um, and then we came back to the room. We, oh, we shared a portion of chips as well for lunch. We didn't want to eat too much, but we, you know that thing where you feel like don't want to have lunch because we've got a big dinner tonight and we had a big breakfast but you know that if you don't eat something by four o'clock you're going to be like oh I'm really hungry now and that's the worst time to eat if you've got a dinner reservation at half past seven so um yeah we shared a portion of chips standing looking over the estuary which was very nice and um came back to the room I watched an episode of The Real Housewives of New Jersey Ashley read his book um and generally chilled out a bit. I've had a bath, Ashley's currently in the bath, and I'm all ready for the evening. And um, when Ashley is out of the bath, I will get him to film my outfit for me. I've got my cameraman <laughs> poised. It's making me laugh because he's saying five, four, three, two, one action. Um, outfit of the evening. This evening I have, I think it's only the second time I've worn this dress, but I've had it for a while. It's from New Look, it's short sleevey, faux wrap style. Leopard print, it's a little bit satiny and it's got the thing I like that really suits me as a short person with the skirt coming up a little bit at the front. I always think that's quite good and I think is a good style for us shorter ladies. Then I've got this sort of bat wing jacket which I've had for years and years and years. It's from Yule's clothing and it's so. Why are you doing that face? There's two of you. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yeah, we just just concentrate on me rather than the one in the mirror. Your twin <laughs> sister's looking better than you, though. Oh, thanks. Um, <laughs> yeah, yours clothing had it for years and years. I'm sure they probably do something similar still. And then these shoes were from a charity shop. They're Marks and Spencers originally, and they are super comfortable considering they're pointy and little heels and stuff. They are very comfortable. Um, Jewelry wise, can we do? Anna Louise, I expect it's all twisted up by now. It's a. Oh. Cut! <laughs> there we are, uh, a layering necklace. Uh. Um, earrings are these sort of chunky leopard print and gold. These were from Marks and Spencer's in the sale last winter. And a couple of little gold bracelets also from Anna Louise are also twisted up. And my Gucci watch. 
and um, that's it we're off to the restaurant I'm going to take you with us I probably won't film much in the restaurant but I will show you what we have to do for to, to dinner for dinner even Ashley's got his crown shirt on, which is, uh, that was the one that was very much admired when we were on the QM2, or getting on the QM2, wasn't it? People asked you about it. And it's over salt. Ashley has sashimi to start. He's excited. He's got his chopsticks out the ready. I have fish and shellfish soup with all the accompaniments. <laughs> Stop wiggling your chopsticks at me. Main course is Ashley has the most beautifully filleted sole. I've never seen such an expertly filleted sole. So many, yeah. And I have fillets of brill with um, mushrooms and potato slippers in, I can't remember what it was, but it looks delicious and smells very nice. I said yes. I am not a massive pudding eater, but Ashley is having an orange. She loves a massive pudding. <laughs> And Bruno, it looks lovely, doesn't it? Oh, good, doesn't it? And I'm not going to lie, I'm having treacle tart. I couldn't tell you the last time I made treacle tart, but I'm excited to eat this one. Good morning, it is Thursday. What? No, it's not Thursday, is it? No, it's Friday. It's Friday. That was a good start. And we are leaving this morning. We've had such a nice break. What? The fact that you're now filming the room. Because yes, I forgot to show you the room. I will show you the room now. The bed is not made and it's slightly messier. This is why you should always do room tours when you arrive somewhere rather than when you're departing. Yeah. Rookie error there. But um, yeah, I will show you the room. Just one second. So there is the door where you come. There's actually, there's the door where you come in. And this is what the room looks like. I love this big mirror here. And sort of modern four poster bed lots of cupboards here and sort of vaulted ceiling which is fab makes it feel very I mean, it's a good sized room anyway but it makes it feel very spacious super comfy bed and lovely bed linen they set up i would love to have a bed that feels like a hotel bed there's something about hotel bed linen isn't there um never managed to find any or you know purchase any that feels like hotel. anyway i'm waffling um chair here nice little spot for reading and a little two-seater sofa i showed you outside there yesterday a little coffee table there and then you've got television we haven't turned the television on since we've been here um, and this is like mini bar selection of snacks up there and uh, all payable obviously and coffee and tea making the stuff in there and yeah that's the room I'll show you the bathroom because the bathroom's really nice um, this is the bathroom look at that that is a super comfortable bath and a good bath for people who are short as well works perfectly for me sometimes these freestanding baths are too long and I end up flailing about not being able to you know it's too long for me to get my feet into the other end and yeah you know you have short person problems um that's the basin and lovely marble countertop loo and then a big um corner shower cubicle as well which is really nice and the toiletries here are lovely they are designed by Rick Stein's wife they're called Porth Dune and there's a little card telling you all about them there you can buy them downstairs she's all, she also has matching candles I bought a couple of candles last year they were lovely um in that range as well and they've actually got a Rick Stein shop I think I filmed a bit in there yesterday did I not um with all the um, toiletries and the candles and china and what have you um right time for breakfast miss matthews mm -hmm. yes and please tell me it's not a kipper today please god not another kipper, it's not a kipper today. what is it today yeah, it's not a kipper. but not a kipper well that's a good start to the day we have had such a lovely stay here again it's just been so nice we did the exact same break that we did this time last year, a little bit earlier in the year we did it last year, but um, yeah, it's been lovely and the, last year the weather was very unkind, this year it's been beautiful. Just having a quick last look at the harbour before we head off home. Isn't it lovely? If every single person who has liked you in your lifetime were to light up on a map, it would create the most glitteringly beautiful network you could imagine. 
Throw in the strangers you've been kind to, the people you've made laugh or inspired along the way, and that star bright network of you would be an impressive sight to behold. You're so much more than you think you are. You have done so much more than you realize. You're trailing a bright pathway that you don't even know about. What a thing, what a thing indeed. Today's words were from Donna Ashworth. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again in the next one. Thank you.